We continue now with our theme of highlights from TalkBack. This is installment 47. In our last installment, installment 46, we saw the double tapping and holding with four fingers to do the system pass-through. We continue with the four-finger heading, and today we'll be looking at the fourth entry in that heading. For today's demonstration, I'll be using my Pixel 6 Pro with Android 13 Beta 4.1 and with TalkBack 13.0. For the Speech TTS, I'll be using Google Speech Services. I am on my home screen and instead of tapping with three fingers to invoke the TalkBack menu, I'm doing it the nostalgic method that is swiping down with one finger and curving to the right to bring up the TalkBack menu. So in other words, if you have an Android phone that is running anything lower than Android 12, you can activate your TalkBack menu by drawing a line downward and curving to the right to bring up that TalkBack menu. If you have TalkBack 12 or higher, however, you could simply tap with three fingers. Like I said though, I'm going to use that nostalgic method that's swiping down and curving to the right to bring up my TalkBack menu. I'll now swipe down and curve to the right to bring up the TalkBack menu. TalkBack menu. Actions in list. Here I am in the TalkBack menu. The item I'm after here will be the TalkBack settings. I'll put down my finger and tap on TalkBack Settings. TalkBack Settings. Here is TalkBack Settings, and I'll tap here to activate. TalkBack Settings. Navigate up, button, out of list. I am now in the TalkBack Settings, and the item I'm after here is the customized gestures. If you have a phone that's not tall enough, however, then you would need to scroll down the page and you scroll down the page or scroll down the screen by putting two fingers in the middle of the phone and then gliding them upwards and that in turn scrolls down your page. I'll put my finger down and tap on Customize Gestures. Customize Gestures in List. Here is Customize Gestures and I'll now tap here to activate this item. Customize gestures out of list. I am now on the customization page of our gestures, and this is when we switch our granularity or our mode to the heading mode. In other words, you need to change your mode to the heading mode. Again and again, I have indicated that we have one or three methods of doing so. The first method is the one I preferred, and that's the scrubbing up and down with one single finger, and that changes your granularity or your modes. If you, however, prefer using three fingers, then you could swipe down or swipe from left to right, or from right to left with three fingers to change your granularities. Once you have that, now that we are in headings mode, then all we need to do is swipe down with one finger and keep doing so until we hear the heading four fingers. I do believe that I am already in my heading granularity and now we'll simply swipe down with one finger until I get to that four finger heading. Here I go swiping down. One finger heading in list. Swipe down. One finger back and forth heading. Swipe down. One finger angle, heading. Showing item 7 to 17 of 51. Swipe down. Two fingers, heading. Showing item 17 to 26 of 51. We are now to the two fingers heading. I'll swipe down again. Three fingers, heading, in list. Here is three fingers and swiping one more time now will place us on the four finger heading. I'll swipe down. Four fingers heading in list. Here is four fingers heading. And as I indicated earlier, we have seen three items within this heading. And for refresher, these are the three that we already have seen. And here are those items. Tap with four fingers, practice gestures. Next. 
Double tap with four fingers, open tutorial. Showing items 36 to 45 of 51. And the last one we saw last week, and that was installment 46, was... Double tap and hold with four fingers, pass through system gesture. Showing items 42 to 51 of 51. And now, here's the one we're looking at today, and that will be... Triple tap with four fingers, tap to assign. Triple tap with four fingers, tap to assign. In other words, this gesture of triple tapping with four fingers has not been assigned to any particular gesture. Thus, you can assign this to any gesture that you would like to use the triple tap with four finger for. For instance, if I tap here, triple tap with four fingers, tap to assign, checked, in list, showing items 1 to 16 of 56. And so I'm going to look at the different, let's look at some of these items that we could uh, assign this to or reassign this to. In other words, if you have a gesture that you have with some item that you don't like using that gesture for, and if you would rather have this triple tapping with four fingers reassigned to that, you could change that. So let's look at these things as they are arranged under headings. The first heading here would be Basic Navigation Heading. So under Basic Navigation, we have the following. In other words, you could assign this to any of these gestures if that is what you prefer. Here are some of these items. I'm not going to go through all the items, but at least under every heading, I'll show you maybe like two or three items in that heading, and you can look them up for yourself. Here's what we've got under the first basic heading. Tap. Tap, in other words, if you want to reassign this four-finger triple tap to something else, like tapping to activate something, then you could do that. Next. Touch and hold. Touch and hold. In other words, if you want to assign this for a long pressing instead, then you could reassign that. Let's go to the next. Previous item. Previous item. Let's move to the next heading, and that heading will be... System Actions Heading. System Actions. And here's what we got, or some of the things we have underneath that system heading. Home. You could reassign that to home. Back. Or back. Overview. Overview. Notifications. Notifications. Let's move to the next heading, and that heading will be... Reading. Heading. This is the reading heading. So in other words, you could use this, reassign this to any of these reading controls. And some of these controls would include the following. Read from top. You could assign that triple tapping with four fingers to read from top. Read from next item. Or read from next item. Pause or resume speech. Pause or resume speech. Turn speech on or off. Turn speech on or off. In other words, if you want to assign this to muting and unmuting talkback, then you could just tap here to do that. Let's go to the next heading. I'm sorry for that interruption. Menu and controls, heading. Menu Showing items controls, 31 to 40. And we've got... Open talkback menu. Talkback menu. Previous reading control. Previous reading. Next reading control. Let's move to the next heading. Text editing, heading. Under text editing, we've got some of these items. Start or end selection mode. Move cursor to beginning. Move cursor to end. Select all. Let's move to the next heading. Other, heading. Showing I other, and this will be the last heading. And some of the items found under the other heading would include Play or pause media. Start voice command. Screen search. Pass through system gesture. And more. And that's what we mean by reassigning it. So if you would rather reassign this unassigned triple tap with four fingers to something, then you tap on that and make your selection from any of these items as you would desire. And that concludes this installment.